I am not here to tell you or dictate that this is how dating is supposed to go. You're supposed to talk like this to men. You're not supposed to talk like this to men. You're supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. I am not here for all that. I am just here to give you my opinion. My opinion is not, is not word how things are supposed to be done and all that. No, I am just here to talk about dating, right? Dating these days. I believe that back in my day, dating was so seamless. Dating was way easier. I enjoyed the whole process of you meeting this random guy. You meet the guy, the guy tries to talk to you. You give him your number. He goes ahead, you talk to each other. He calls you, try to get to know you, take you on a date. After going on several dates, you now decide whether you want to be in a relationship with this person or not. That's basically how dating in our days used to go, okay? And I feel like it was really good. I really used to enjoy it. Okay, so yeah, for me, I feel like dating during our time was way easy. It was more, a lot more seamless. Though I know with the coming of social media and all that, dating, it also has its advantages. But to me, I would, if you say, I should pick i'll definitely pick dating back in my day because there are so many people who are like how can you say we're dating we're not dating we're just hanging we're in a situation she wine this like dating has become so complicated and people don't really define their relationship so you see somebody who is in a relationship alone and just things like that but anyway guys i'm just going to tell you in this video why i think dating these days sucks so if you like to see what i have to say keep watching <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas. Welcome to Vlogmas Day something something like I always say. So guys, you're highly welcome to today's Vlogmas. And hi guys, my name is Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian content creator. I'm based in Zuala, Cameroon. You're highly welcome to this channel. If it's the first time you're seeing my beautiful face, please do not forget to click on that subscribe button because you're going to like it here. If you like information about Cameroon and things like that, this is the place for you. If you like vlogs, daily live vlogs, this is a place for you. Reviews. Like this channel is basically an encyclopedia. I talk about so many things on here and you'll find at least one thing you like. So please consider clicking on that subscribe button. That said, let's go straight into today's video. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about why dating sucks these days. And you know how this goes. Please let me know whether you agree with me. Dating these days sucks or it's better than my own days. Okay, so... <laughs> Ah, I don't understand. I had I did a video sometime back with Elomo Carol where we were talking about the dynamics of dating this these days and dating back in my day. And I was just like, you know what? <laughs> dating these days is not for me. Thank you. I'm off the streets. Thank God I'm off the streets. You push me handling your streets because I cannot deal with this. So the very first reason why I feel like dating these days sucks is just the elephant in the room, social media. For me, I feel like social media has kind of complicated things because you might just see somebody, you're asking them out or you like them, and then you the first your first reaction is to oh, go search them on social media. So you go now to their Instagram or their Facebook or wherever, and you're gathering information from there about the person. And then you just feel like, oh, this person, he seems like he has money. You see this guy, he's taking pictures near cars. He's always having fun and just things like that. And then you just assume, oh, this person seems to be like one of those people who has a lot of money because I can see he's chilling in big places, he's doing this. You just assume, oh, I know this person, I want to date this person. That's the first thing, guys. Like, a lot of people put on what they want people to perceive about them on social media. So people will be judging people wrongly. This can also be said to be an advantage in the, in the fact that obviously you can do research on the person, know a little bit about the person before putting yourself out there to them, right? But at the same time, a lot of people are lying on social media. A lot of people are giving wrong information about their lives, about what they do, where they live, how they like how they live and all that. So people feel like they already know you before even dating you and all that. So for me, I feel like that sucks. Back in my day, there was no way that you could I could go and start searching somebody on social media to know what they do, how they do it. Like no, it was more about getting to know this person face to face, hanging out with this person, getting to know them, talk with them, like just basically engage in conversations with them and let the person tell you who they are and it in no way means that people were not lying obviously people would still lie but for me I feel like it was better I enjoy getting to the process of getting to know you through you rather than going on social media and then seeing all those things it's even making things really hard for some people because people start perceiving you oh 
this guy, he walks here and here and here. Oh, he means he has money. The girl loses focus. She's not there anymore because she really likes you for who you are, but because of what she sees, you can bring. And even with guys too. So yeah, for me, that's the first thing. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Dating these days, too annoying. Another thing which is still kind of tied to social media is that people do not compromise anymore and i put it completely on social media social media you can sit from your house and you meet 1000 people at a go you don't like it's easier to meet people back in the day you could not meet people that easily you would have to basically put yourself in a situation put yourself in positions where you have to meet people to be able to meet people right but now it's easy you just have to put a cute picture online and then the guys come flooding into your dms you just have to sit in your house and then you you start chatting with people talk with people go to dating sites like you can meet as many people as possible so a lot of people don't compromise because they feel like oh there, there's there's so many fish in the sea like so many different types of fishes so why on earth should i be compromising oh this one has been then like mm -mm, it's not my type this one is broke no he's not my type this one is not tall he's not my type like so they are just rolling and rolling and rolling people out because they feel like there's a vast a vast number of people out there not that i am saying that it's okay for you to be dating i feel like oh my god let me just date this one because i feel like in my time people were more compromised they were they will compromise more because you're like oh i've seen this one good person okay maybe they have a few faults here or there there's no nobody's perfect right as long as there are things that you can work with you just go ahead but now people like women men they have this idea of my ideal girl must be pretty she must have a big bum big boobs be this type of person have this type of job and all that so when they see that you don't fit in that they just kick you out because they're like oh i saw another girl on social media but before if a guy sees you and you have a lot of his qualities and he has it in his head that when will i see another girl that is is having all these things like that the person is going to be more patient with you and try to make things work so that is another thing that i'm just like oh please this is why dating these days sucks so damn much another thing that i have grumbled and grumbled and grumbled on this channel is is the dynamics of relationships ladies have monetized relationships a lot not only the ladies but guys like guys are like oh girls want money so i'll give them money so that i can get what i want ladies are like i cannot do this if i am not if i am not um gaining anything financially from this guy if the guy doesn't have money i definitely cannot be with you so for me it's like an exchange it's like i'm giving you my body so i can give me money so it's it's how do they say this guys i don't know i'm trying to say it as nicely as possible but for me i just feel like relationships these days are way way monetized back in my day guys i would not take money from a guy and i know so many girls that were like me like if a guy is asking me out and you give me money or even if i'm dating you and you give me money i'm always like um no because back in our day our parents were more like i could not buy a new thing without my mom knowing my mom knew all my clothes all my everything so even if i borrowed like my friend's outfit and i came home my mom is like where's this dress from i want you to go and give it back and just things like that so having all the scrutiny and everything i was going up, up and i'm like you don't have to first of all take money from people and for me it was just like a no how like <laughs> even up to now guys i don't know how to ask like if i need something i don't know how to ask the greatest person that suffers from my asking at this point in my life is my husband because i can ask him anything but generally it was not just a thing it was not the thing that was common that you hear girls landing a bill oh i have to go to my head my nails do this do this do this do this if you cannot do this, like mm -mm. but now it's like a normal if you cannot do this 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 and for me when i just look at the people the little people some little little human beings young young girls asking these things i'm just like oh my god times have changed things have changed i don't know how else i can say this but it's just weird so for me i'm like the monetization of relationships the exchange thing it's not just doing it for me before you could date somebody i knew so many people who would date and date for years without getting sexual but these days you're joking if you get like young girl who is a virgin you have to be like oh my god this is a miracle because the pressure is real and all that so i'm just like no please dating our, our time was better guys will give you things like flowers and little things buy you a few biscuits and things and you're like oh my god thank you you're being so thoughtful sometimes you buy and i'm like please so i cannot take it because where do i go with it to do i do i do i go with these things to my house what am i going to tell my mom what am i going to tell my parents but now it's just like i just see like i see the weeks that some young girls wear and i'm like auntie <laughs> my god do you not have parents or oh, what is happening these days you even see some parents pushing their kids out to go and date and bring back money for them so i'm just like 
um dating in these days is just completely weird i don't get it okay another thing i'm going to talk about is the is the fakery the fakeness is <laughs> the fakeness for me everybody is faking it everybody is trying to present themselves like perfect i'm good at this everybody is trying to fake so because they have set a certain standard of for you to be the perfect girl you have to be like this you have to be like that there are some people who really cannot meet to those standards so they have to fake it i just hate the whole faking it thing there's so much fakeness out there and I'm like oh my god people who are still dating you I know you must be have finding it hard especially when you're a genuine person who is ready to settle down who is ready to just find your person and be with your person it can be so hard because you could want to go now to meet a guy and the guy has gone through so many fake people that he's just like am I sure this is not one of those people it's just a lot so I'm just like oh it's the fakeness for me next thing is still on social media I feel like social media has really spoiled the game for some guys <laughs> especially the average or broke guy social media you see girls doing how how they that funny tiktok challenge how they say like, that thing in my man in my man i don't know what in my man whatever 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 you know that thing i'll try to play the thing here if i get it so <laughs> social media has made it in the way that the rich guys are getting all the babes because some girls they will be getting stuff from their men they are posting it so a lot of girls don't want normal guys anymore the ordinary guy that will just take you out once in a while buy you a gift on your birthday on chris during christmas and things like that no girls don't want that one they're like are you mad are you even a man if you cannot give me money buy me gifts do this one million things are you a man no you're not a man so please don't talk to me so i feel like social media has completely ruined it for some guys because the broke guys now hmm, uh, to get a girl is difficult that's why so i saw something the other day where they were like like, times are horrible girls are getting like one rich guy will have 15 girlfriends and a poor broke guy does not even have one girlfriend so i'm like things are not easy i know i can imagine how things are hard dating these days and last but not least if i don't say this one will you put not say hmm, there's something wrong like it's kind of giving the gist like i'm tired of the different types of relationships back in my day relationship was relationship but now these days we have relationship situationship bestie this one i'm like oh my god it is too much are you in a relationship with this person are you dating this person are you put are you put an item or not like i don't get it you see some girls who are in relationships with themselves some boys who are in relationships with themselves no you're just my bestie no it's a situation ship. no i just vibing i'm like uh, back in my day it was either you're in a relationship with this person or you're not in a relationship with this person or you people are do it bodies like it was clean cut but these days you see a girl she's like he's my boyfriend and the guy is like no we're in a situation ship we're just hanging we're just vibing and i'm like oh my god all these ah! and the funny thing is that some of the people who are in this relationship they don't take out time to discuss i don't realize that they are scared but i'm like i am not going to be going into a relationship without defining it i'm one of those girls like even back in my time when i used to date if you tell if you know the way people oh we had something back in my day called understanding our response where a guy does not even think it's necessary to ask you out or tell you that he likes you and wants to be he wants you to be their girlfriend they just feel like they're just going to show you attention call you text you take you out and then you just understand and then it will become a couple <laughs> kenna i've never been that person i am one of those girls that if you like you hang about around me from january to december if you do not open your mouth and tell me kenna i like you i want you to be my girlfriend i want to be in a relationship with you i don't assume i had seen so many people around me get embarrassed about oh I, i'm dating this guy and the guy is like dating who me no please i'm not dating you i'm single i'm completely single i'm not <laughs> like we're just vibing we're just enjoying so i was very particular about that so i don't get it when people are in relationship with guys and then they have not defined it like if you keep taking me out and taking me out the first thing i'm just like so why are you taking me out what is it tell me what is what are your intentions why are you carrying me out i don't just understand with people i ensure that you explain okay can I, I like you okay you like me okay fine thank you so what do you want to do about that do you want us to just be friends do you want, you have to explain so that if i'm saying anywhere i'm opening my mouth anywhere that we're in a relationship we're in a situation i know exactly what i'm saying anyway guys for me these are the reasons why i feel like relationships dating these days sucks it is annoying i like ugh. i'm like thank god i'm off the streets and i just want to say actually to those of you <laughs> who are on the streets because when i talk to my single friends and people in my life i just feel like hmm. dating these days is a lot of work if you're dating and you're succeeding you have to clap for yourself because it'll be easy work anyway guys thank you very much for watching please please do subscribe on this channel if this is your first time here please subscribe like if you know anybody who might enjoy my content who might like me 
because I like all my subscribers whom I like me and I like them too just ask them to subscribe for me I'll be very happy please guys try to share my link I want to get to my goal that's it thank you guys very very much for watching this one and Kenna is going to see you on her next one love you guys bye see you tomorrow